Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video we are going to be discussing a problem from kinematics and this has to do with the river man problem uh, as it is famously called. So basically we have a boat that can travel with a speed of 3 meter per second on still water. So a boatman wants to cross a river while covering the shortest possible distance. In what direction should he row with respect to the bank if the speed of the water uh, in question 1 it's 2 and in question 2 it's 4 meter per second and we have to assume the flow speed and direction is the same everywhere. Okay guys so uh, as we have to find out the minimum crossing distance this is, so this is technically just a problem of geometry. So basically what we have to do is of all the possible paths through which the man can travel we have to find out the shortest possible one. So in the first question they are saying the velocity of the river is 2 meter per second and the velocity of the boat is 3 meter per second. So let's say our rider starts from point A. Okay so geometrically speaking the shortest possible distance that this guy can cover is AB right where B is the point directly opposite to point A. But we can only travel in this path provided the the relative velocity of the boat in water is greater than the river speed. But as you can observe in the first question, this is the case, right? So let's say the guy, so let's say the river flow is towards the east and it's, so clearly we have to be rowing in some direction upstream. Let's say making an angle of theta with the vertical. So the river velocity will be vectorially added to our boat speed. This length was 3 meter per second, this length is 2 meter per second. So, uh, this is to ensure that the resultant velocity is in the vertical direction. So now as you can see, the angle theta is simply sine inverse of 2 by 3. So, so in this case, the boatman has to row the bow, uh, boat at an angle of theta plus 90 degree to our original flow direction. So that's the answer to the first problem, which is quite straightforward. Now let's discuss the second problem. Okay, so in the second problem, um, the condition is exactly opposite, right? So the, so the velocity of the boat relative to the river is now less. So in this particular case, there will clearly be some drift and that is unavoidable. And uh, if you want a physical idea of it, let's say the boat actually went opposite to the river stream. So this is three meter per second. The reverse flow speed is four meter per second. So even in this particular case, the boat cannot fight the reverse speed. So there will clearly be some non-avoidable drift. Okay, so what is going to be the minimum distance in this particular case? The direct brute force approach is to make a function, like let's assume that the boat started rowing at some angle theta and make a function in terms of the distance covered by the boat and differentiate it. So I'm gonna be solving this problem with velocity triangles. Okay guys, so uh, this circle over here, uh, its radius is equal to V boat. So this circle represents the locus of all directions in which the boat can row. So for example, let's say the boat started rowing uh, in this particular direction. So the river velocity will be vectorially added to it and the boat will move in this particular direction. Okay, so that's basically what this circle actually represents. So now how can drawing this circle uh, help us solving this problem. So remember guys question was to find out the shortest possible distance, right? So one metric that can easily help us decide if the path is shortest or not is how close it is to this vertical line For example, this uh, path over here is shorter than this path, right? And the and the factor that is differentiating them is the closeness to the vertical line and that is fairly easier to understand, right? So basically we can use this angle theta over here as a metric so the closer this angle is to 90 degree, we can say the shorter is the path. So our goal is now to actually determine the maximum possible value of theta because that will correspond with the shortest path, right? So now let's take a few scenarios. So let's say the boat steered in this particular direction. Then let's just say it steered in this particular direction. Okay, so now let's add vectorially the velocity of the river. Say this is the velocity of the river. So the resultant velocity Mm. Let's say if the boat started steering in this particular direction, the resultant velocity will be this particular vector. But whereas if the boat steered in this particular direction, the resultant velocity, the resultant velocity will be in this particular direction. So as you can see, as we go from this point over here to this point, there is clearly some point in between where the resultant velocity is actually tangential to this circle. So basically, let's say the guy steers in this particular direction and it becomes perpendicular to the resultant velocity. And this particular direction will correspond to uh, the minimum possible distance. And I'll explain why is that. Okay, so I want you to observe something. Now this uh, vector that I'm moving around represents a resultant vector. Okay, so let's say this is the resultant in the first case. Okay, so now I'm moving along the circle. These represents the resultant in different different points. Okay, now as I reach the tangential point, as you can see from here to the tangent point clearly the angle is increasing but now as I move along the circle the angle is actually decreasing so what is happening is that so let's say if I start from here so I'm moving the angle is increasing 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 it reaches a maximum value at the tangent and then it starts decreasing 
So the angle, uh, so the maximum angle is the angle that corresponds to when this line becomes tangential to the circle. So this angle over here is going to be theta max. So the river velocity is four meter per second. The relative speed of the boat, which is represented by this vector is three meter per second. Now from this right triangle over here, we can easily find out theta max as sine inverse of three by four. The guy obviously started from point A. So the direction in which this guy has to swim. So even this angle over here is theta max. So he has to swim at an angle of theta max plus 90 degree with the original flow direction in order to ensure that the distance covered by him is minimum. So that was the answer to the second problem. So the resultant velocity will be something like this, right? So this is theta max and this path will correspond to the minimum distance. That's it for this video guys. If you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. And that's it. Thanks for watching.